Hi, Carol here. Isn't this the perfect stamp set? My friend on YouTube asked me why I didn't have any kitties to my addition. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I had to put the kitty set, which is called Big Hugs, and it's TLC 149. You're going to love this set. You really are. And please ignore my voice. I'm having some more laryngitis issues. And that's why this video tutorial had to wait for a little bit to do the voiceover, but I think it'll uh, work its way out in time. So now I'm just arranging the set on this die cut. I absolutely love this die cut set because it works perfect. Get it? Perfect. <laughs> With the set, the, the big hug set of um, stamps. So it's exactly uh, like the embossing folder. This is the die that goes on the front to cut out of that uh, dragonfly embossing powder. I'll leave everything over on my blog. So I'm heat setting it for you. Then I'm going to, there it is there, and it's the inside one that fits on to the embossing folder. I'm going to just put a little bit of water in my ceramic egg cup uh, paint thingy dingy there. And uh, I showed that in the last uh, video, I think. And I'm going to paint with these little Daniel Smith dots. And I love them. They're very vivid, but you just, it's perfect for little images like this. You're not going to paint a wall mural <laughs> with these dots, but you are going to paint beautiful little images like this. And I have to apologize right off the bat. I was cleaning off out my card, you know, your, um, that card that sits in my camcorder was full. It started flashing and guess what I did? I did it. Yeah, I didn't mean to, but I erased the coloring of the background, but I will explain it because in most of my tutorials, if I do a sky background, you know I add the water first, then I apply uh, those blooms. I just touch the paint to the water. It blooms out and it makes for a beautiful sky and also for beauteous grass as well. So now uh, what I did, I took, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> get back here, kitty. There's no time for fun right now. We're getting a serious tutorial up. <laughs> oh, my dogs are going to be uh, seriously get their nose uh, out of line if they see too many of these kitties come up in my tutorial, right? <laughs> so I brought it forward here as I'm doing the face with my pen with my marker at 0.5 and I want to outline all the areas obviously I want to stand out especially the eyes the bows up here and it gave you opportunity to see the blooms that I did with the sky and I actually did a bloom for the sun there and I put some pico embellisher or glaze whatever you have to make a shine and I love the sky and this is only two inches I think by two and a quarter inch little area I have to admit I am not good uh, with A2 cards um, I really admire those that make A2 cards because you're working with a small space I'm more used to working with six by six or five by seven or mixed media canvases large real estate and here it was a challenge for me to work with a small bit of real estate and make it look like I was building upon a large area of cardstock. And it was fun, I have to admit. And it limits you to the space, so you really do have to be creative when you're working on uh, tiny little spaces like this. So it was fun. This set is fun. It has the dies with the stamps. Uh, little Darling Rubber Stamps hasn't forgot anything when they make their supplies. I'm telling you, each one uh, just seems to radiate with one another. You know, this set goes with this set and you can interlock them and have so much fun. Here's my Pico Embellisher. This dries really quickly. And I like that. I made my own eyelashes, gave her little googly eyes. And I just, you know, stand back. I don't want too much because even though you didn't see me color the kitty or the grass and the sun and sky, 
I, I think you get the drift of it, where you want your sun. You know, the sun here is behind her. So most of the image, you won't have a lot of uh, light spots because the sun's back there. But I did apply them. Sometimes I don't even think of things like that, you know. I wanted to stay kind of with the rule of thirds, making my project, uh, you know, that little space come together. And look at that. Don't you love blooming? I tell you, watercolor blooming is the top of my list to do. It is. And there's why I cut it out perfectly. It just, boop, comes right out with that die cut. And I'm getting big feedback from those that are purchasing items over at the LDRS shop. They, they have received their dies and stamps, and they are saying the dies are the best dies they have ever worked with. And I have to agree, top notch. I was thinking of a shaker card, but the only problem with that is this was cut directly out. So it's like a flat, it's proportioned like flat. You don't have an element to put your double-sided tape to build the layer up for your shakers. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to add the acetate. Uh, I'm just drying it a bit here because I do have to put the acetate on. And I don't want another accident with my son. Uh, in the sky sticking to my acetate or anything else. <laughs> it gave me enough space for my googly eyes. It didn't bother that. And I took out, you know, some little pieces bits. You can see off to the right upper corner, but I didn't use it because, of course, I didn't do a shaker. But I put my double-sided flat tape on to add the acetate. And this is... For an A2 card, I can't stress it enough because I don't, uh, well, seldom do I do A2 size cards. So it was like uh, this wonderful challenge for me to uh, incorporate a lot of techniques and at the same time apply it to a smaller space, you know. The real estate is smaller, but it was a lot of fun. And I can see how you can do a2 size cards for uh, sets, you know, four cards in a set because you're not working with a lot of space. But I had to be very careful when I say that as far as the space is concerned because really I was able to apply a lot of little elements on this small space. I really was. And I was, tr oh yeah, and it's so exciting that I put the kitty to sleep. Hello, I'll get that little dog out. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah, so I'm taking all of the, my new oxides came in and I haven't had time to even take off the plastic. Can you believe it? Yeah, so I just took the colors I wanted. I released them into the world, took all of the plastic off and I'll have to put my names on with my little um, stickers at another date and time. And uh, yeah, so I... Don't you love oxides? I just love that chalky yumminess that comes with them. It's beautiful. And I stuck with three or four colors. You pick whatever colors you like. This is the background in this, they're dragonflies. And I was able to go in my stash and listen to this. I'm just cleaning off because anything that's on the inside is going to stay there forever once you put the tape down right onto your card base. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I kind of tried to add. I kind of tried. <laughs> I did add the colors that uh, were lightly in the background because that kitty was my focal point. So the outside piece, the one that I die cut and the one that I, you know, the embossing folder was not the focal point. So it had to be lighter so that it would bring out that beautiful little setting. And yes, I, I didn't even want to show it, but I'm drinking Pepsi. <gasps> I know, Pepsi, I love my Coca-Cola, I'm sorry, yes. He's gonna think that I left him the poor little Coca-Cola bottles, but the store didn't have any and I had to switch. They had some, but they weren't on sale and I wasn't paying that amount of money. Generally, I get my Coca-Cola at Costco, yeah. I don't know, was I drinking Coca-Cola and something else? <laughs> Working with an A2 size card, I probably needed my instant coffee and my Pepsi-Cola to kind of make up for not having my Coca-Cola. Yeah, let's move on, right? 
Make no wonder that Kitty's gone to sleep. I'm bored and senseless. How to find the little elements I wanted. Oh, there were so many things I could do with this. I trust you, me. My mind was going everywhere when I found this little bin. You know, my dollar store and nothing's a dollar bin. And I thought, no, Carol, stick to your plan, which was twine. And I grabbed my twine. It's a nice thin twine. I made a bow with the green, and then I wrapped the yellow and red. And it brought out some of the colors that were more vibrant, you know. And look at my scissors. Yes, can you get a sharper pair of scissors, Carol? <laughs> and they are sharp, but I have so much double-sided tape on it. I have to clean them off so that it will cut, because these are sharp scissors, these Fiskar scissors. But I haven't cleaned them in a while, and yeah, I was just embarrassed right in front of all of YouTube land that I don't take time to clean my little scissors. So where do I go with the twine wraparound? I'll, I'll leave that to another time, and let's move on. Yeah, we're getting out the cutter. I'll take the Fiskar's cutter. Uh, oh, watch it! Uh, Scared this kitty half to death. Meow, watch my tail, he's saying. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a fun tutorial. Uh, for me anyway, I have a blast when I put these in. And I wanted to make sure, you know, if I have doggy elements, transitions that go in my tutorials, for sure I had to go and purchase some kitties, right? People ask me where I get them. I purchased them from... A uh, place where you get uh, transitions, all kinds of things. You know, they each cost a little bit. I think these kitties are around 25 Canadian. and But they're worth it to me. They're worth it to me to bring a smile. And when I'm doing an edit and a voiceover, I need a smile. <laughs> so putting them in there is fantastic. Yes, and cute. Can you get anything cuter than putting cartoon style things? You know, I could have put real kitties and all that stuff and bought those, but no, I want a laugh. I want a smile when I am doing my edit voiceover. And I want you to smile too. I want you to join me. You're in my craft room with me today. You chose to watch my tutorial with me. I hope so. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> And when I'm cutting this, I have to go through the acetate, right? And I wanted to add two layers, so I'm cutting it down, yeah. Um, and being, yeah, this is no longer uh, four and a quarter by five and a half right here, but my outside white card is, the, is an exact A2 size. And then I just brought down my colors. Look at that, I love the yellow, love the blue. And I cut it down purposely to have more space on the top because that's where I'm going to put that wow factor with the black cardstock. Love it. And I'm going to have two sentiments from this cute little set. One is big hugs and then we'll show you what I do on the inside of the card. You know I have to do at least two spaces. I can't leave white cardstock alone but I did and I think you're going to like the back of this card. I really do. Yes I did. So I'm taking my anti-powder sticky stuff bag. And uh, yeah, if you order it, be careful uh, how you word that. I don't know if it'll come up in the search. <laughs> and here's that piece from videos ago that I took out my big creative station and my foam that has the pull-off tape on one side. We added it to the other. Works perfect for this. It gives me the little lift I want instead of the honking big scotch roll and lifting it up too high, you know? Can I say something wonderful about this white embossing powder and this beautiful uh, watermark it's called? It's like a Versamark. Juicy, though it everything sticks to it. That's why I was mindful to put my anti-static powder down. And bright white, you're not going to get a whiter embossing powder than this. It is wonderful. And look at that. It's stuck where it should have stuck. And for the first time, yeah, I'm taking off the little bits with an eraser. I don't know what happened there. And look at my brads up there. I picked three brads, odd numbers, right? You want to stick to odd numbers. And uh, I'm adding another element on the other side. There must have been a reason why. Oh, I thought I wanted to do two. I had something else in my mind. And I thought, no, I want to have 
a thicker uh, piece of um, paper, like the black cardstock. I wanted it to be wider and longer, so I redid it and look at big hugs, white as can be. Use the watermark LDRS uh, sticky plain ink that you need to, when you're using embossing powder. And I love the hybrid inks. Hybrid inks, I'm telling you, you have that time to add your embossing powder and yet not, a, you know, it, you're not waiting forever. It's not like a pigment ink. So here I'm just trying to set my plan in action. How am I going to cover this real estate up and make it look cutesy wootsy because that's what this card is. Yeah, look at that. Uh, don't worry. Um, I didn't cough or anything when I had my Pepsi Cola in there. That is from a baby wipe I had off to the side. And of course, you know I always make a mistake. Always. And that's what I did. I did a few other ones probably. So I took my little uh, cut, circle cutter so that I could put my brads in. You're going to work with thirds, with three, uh, with that as well. Now I have to set up my card base onto the blue. So I just cut it here. You're going to use your scissors. You don't need to cut all the way through. Just, um, yeah, just get the amount you want. You can use your scissors to cut it, but if you want a nice straight edge when you're looking on the sides, you know, so it looks kind of uniform, I like to take a little bit of time and do it this way. So I hope you're enjoying it so far, and I hope you like my little kitties. Uh, you have to, you know, this is the way I roll. This is the way my videos roll. I have to have some smiles, some fun, some laughs, and create all at the same time. <laughs> Woo! Where's the doggy when I need him? Come on, little mouse, get going. Run, 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 run. Yes. Doggy can't be that far off. Where are they? Where are they? I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> oh, it's early this morning. Let me tell you, I can hear the birds are singing. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Just a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, creating and doing a voiceover and editing. Uh, that's, you know, that can be a little tedious, but I just change my attitude about it and make it a fun time as well. When you add these little elements, you get to, it, it breaks things up for you because you know you're going to get a smile here and there. And I put them in before I start the voiceover. So when they pop up, it's a surprise to me as well. Yeah, here I go. I'm going to put two dragonflies. I mean, what are the chances of that? Remember when we used to, well, I did, but I think we all did, go to Michael's and we couldn't get enough brads, you know? Uh, I have a ton of them, I'm telling you. Yes, and I didn't get rid of them because I knew in time I'll use it. And what goes around comes around. It always comes back to roost. And I thought, oh, wait, yes, I'm going to be able to use these little dragonflies. And look at that, the perfect colors. I had to put the, I got those Doris um, double-sided thin strips and this is perfect for here because I had to lift up the upper portion but I didn't have to lift, lift up the lower portion because the felt did that for me. So here I I looked at it, it looked a little bit naked with just the black so I grabbed some color and I placed just a little edge of color behind there so it would pop out and if you keep cutting those sides yeah you're going to have some, uh, especially when you're not measuring it, sometimes you get a little wonky, so I have to be careful when that happens. And do you see how thin these strips are? I love them. So here's where my plan changed a little bit, and I put a little bit of color behind the black. I thought that was wise to do that. And then we're going to move on. And uh, yeah, and... Yeah, I have another video I want to show you. I want to put up with something that I received. I ordered it uh, December 26th, and my order just came in last week one day. I think it was last Friday. I haven't even opened up the box, but I can't wait to share that. And I get out my long scissors, these Tim Holtz scissors, because they give you a straighter line because you don't have to lift up your scissor all the time. You just one swipe, and you get a nice clean line usually mm -hmm. don't go you know don't go by that all the time with me because you know 
I certainly, yeah, press it down, Carol. I want to make sure it's secure on there when I send it out in the mail. And I did have to slide one of these underneath the black only, not the green. But don't you love that lime green? It so reminds me of the little cube of the LDRS, the key lime pie color. It's almost exact. And look at that. Carol did an A2 size card. Yeah, I'll have some clapping in there when I get done. I'll go on to my, um, um, you know, those little things, the audio things, and I'll put some nice clapping behind there because I think it deserves some clapping, don't you? So I'll go back and do that and maybe a few more other things. You know, my kitties need to meow and things of that nature. Look at, look at the googly eyes with the little flower. I think my favorite looking at this, beside the elements, you know, the stamps, is the sky. Because it's got blooms. It has. It doesn't got. It has. Whew, I'm glad my grandson's not here. He'd be correcting me on that one. Because <laughs> I'm always correcting him with his, you know, with got and have. I know he's only just turned four, but, you know, those little minds are like sponges. You want to put all that yummy information in them when they're young. So here we go. Enough said about that. I'm going to put some scotch tape holding down the bottom portion of my twine. And uh, if I move that card up, you'd be able to see me create it. <laughs> Carol, what are you thinking? Get it moved in the camera. You know, it's hard sometimes because you don't look up into your screen, and I don't, because you get so enthralled with creating that I forget. There it is. And then I, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Feeding time! Well, he figures if I have to have uh, a snack, he does too. Yeah, great buddies. Mm -hmm. I have something common with that little kitty, I'll tell you. <laughs> I like my feeding time as well. So I'm holding it down with some liquid glue. That way I can change it up. And I'm thinking, what am I going to do to get some weight? Without using up all the white space, I'm going to keep the back white and the inside reasonably, reasonably white. So here I go. I thought, no, Carol, you better add some more right along the bottom there and lift it up. You know why I had to do this? Because of the twine. You probably guessed it. That twine made it pop up a little bit more than I wanted. So these little wee thin strips were perfect. And I took my stylus, moved it all up so you didn't see it made it nice and straight you know if anybody examines cards i don't examine cards when i get them but you never know you know children are good at that right looking at every little thing every little detail i love that they're so inquisitive so here we go yeah it's drying and i have to think okay carol what are you going to do wait till you see this see that that's my front of my envelope but we'll go there later because that'll show you how my mind works yes now I had this stamp, it did not come with the LDRS stamp set, this uh, Big Hugs, but I knew I had it in another set and it said Smile. And if you know me and you subscribe to my, to my channel, thank you if you do, I sure appreciate that. I'm so close to 16,000 subscribers, it makes me just silly thinking about it. But um, I knew this Smile was in there and I always put Smile you know, smile. I think smiling takes away a lot of our, um, you know, the, the issues we have to deal with from time to time. And so taking a break and giving yourself a good old smile, think of something really that made you smile at a particular time in your life. And that's why I always, always, I'm pretty sure 100%, I write smile in my when I answer my comments and yes I answer all my comments I'm still answering all of them and um, yes yeah, somebody said oh if you get a lot of subscribers you won't be able to uh, answer all of them I will there's still hours in the wee hours of the night right so I could do it then and uh, I want to make sure I connect if you took time to comment to me I'm going to take my time to comment back to you and that's how we build a friendship on YouTube. We get to know our subscribers. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of nice. 
in there. I'm doing all the colors so that I cut them out and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. And I didn't use the oxide inks. I used the LDRS inks because they're hybrid and I wanted to put the clear embossing powder over them. I'm getting some of my sponges out. I got these on sale at our um, there's a little store we have and they have makeup and all that stuff kind of like a little drug store and their makeup's always on sale and their uh, nail polishes I always pop in there and that's where I get my pop talk about pop they always have my coca-cola on sale except for recently so here I put the I have a video I'm going to put up on using embossing folders different ways to use your embossing folders and this is one of them put the embossing folder so it looks like an envelope flap that's what this is. But the funny thing is, as I'm using my cute little sponges, they're so soft, these Quay, I think it's called, um, sponges. And I did get them on sale. I'm adding some bright color around the blue. And uh, yeah, so I have to be careful because I took off my uh, two sides. Yeah, uh, <laughs> glue makes her sticky. Yeah, glue makes her itchy, actually. That's what I put there. And here's all my smiles. I was thinking of put, putting them there, but here's the thing. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, the dog. Oh yeah, big issue. He has a, an insecurity there. If that kitty's coming up, so is he. <laughs> so here's the thing. Em, you're embossing. Um, this is your, um, what do you call this thing? scoreboard Carol this is your scoreboard get as close as you can but what I didn't realize here is I'm putting the indent to the inside of the front of my envelope so I had to turn it around I still began you know it's good to get the lines you want there I want the poof to be on the outside now when I send this through the mail it's going to confuse all postal people because it's going to look like the flap is supposed to be on the back when I put the flap on the front of course and I'm going to put their name and address going around the flap yes and this is watercolor paper this is the Tim Holtz pre-cut watercolor paper and um, I like the texture of it even though you know I used it for the beginning with the Daniel Smith dots so I just stuck with it used it on my embossing folder and now the scoreboard is going to do the pretty element of putting two lines popped out on the front of my envelope. This is the front of my envelope. And in my other tutorial, when I get it up, it's going to show you just a few little different ideas to use embossing folders where you don't use the whole space of your cardstock. I think that's kind of nice and see how they kind of matchy matchy. So I'm just checking it to see if there's any other colors I need to add. And here's the thing. This is an A2 size envelope. I made sure that my envelope flap on the back was shaped like this. Now I'm going to take another piece to go on the inside of my card and I am going to score an outline score that will match evenly like up to the corners. Hey! <laughs> How can you not smile? I haven't got a clue what I did there. <laughs> Or why I did it. Yeah, just threw that in for some fun. Oh, well, yeah. And here's where I've tried to design. Yeah, get that out of there, Carol. This is what's going to happen. I need the weight on the front of my envelope. So I'm going to put the smiles for our postal workers to see all the way around the edges. But don't panic because this is because this is what I do. When I send an envelope like this and it has a lot of elements that could be, you know, missing in action by the time it, the recipient receives it, I put that moving tape, that big, you know, two and a half inch thick clear moving tape, I put it right over my whole envelope. Once I get done designing it, that will go over it. And I make it look like there's no lines. It's I've done it for so long, I pretty well can do it seamlessly. Yes, believe it or not. So that's the front of my envelope. See all the little pretty score marks that stick out? And now I have to put down the back, so we'll grab our scotch tape. There we go, yeah. I have two scotch tape, yeah. I grabbed this one, and then I got up to do something, probably answer the phone and go 
put a message down. And I came back and I grabbed my other um, high heel shoe scotch. Yeah, I was working with both of them. I used the high heel shoe to put down my twine and I put down the old office roll to put this down. And I mean, who's going to see it, right? But I'm going to see it while I'm creating it because, you know, you need some beauteous stuff hanging around you while you're doing this. And there I put it away, and I love the sun coming out from that blue sky. Yes, that's my favorite. Now I'm going to cut this down for the inside. I need my card. I don't care what size it is. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. I need it to be heavy, especially if I'm not going to do all four sides of my card. So I took this. I'm cutting it off. I'm going to mark it with my pencil. Then I'm going to score it again. Again. I'm going to score it. Yes, Carol, I'm going, hang on, hang on. I'm coming back. I'm going to score it. First, I have to cut it off, right? And then we're going to take it to the scoreboard, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to do four scores, like all the way around, and then I'm going to get less on two edges. I hope I show you that in this, because I even have fun scoring a piece of paper, okay? Everything that, when I'm in my craft room, Everything brings me joy. It does. It doesn't matter. Mistakes bring me joy because I get to fix them, you know? Knowing that it's going to go up to YouTube and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to bring somebody else some joy or a smile. And hopefully this little set over on LDRS shopping, oh yeah, it's perfect. She's saying perfect ending to this tutorial. Don't you think? Come on. Yeah, keep going with her. Yeah, there we go. And I did. I scored it all the way around, added some score. There it is. There's the, you're going to get a big sale on those embossing folders if you hop over there and to the shop. If they're still there, you're not even going to believe the prices, okay, of those embossing folders when you go over to shop. Go over to my blog and um, subscribe to my blog because that way you will get the video always on my blog, a little chit chat, but you're going to get all of the um, products that I use and all you have to do is touch it. Yep, link. Isn't this uh, uh, electronic thing fabulous? I mean, who'd have thought? Back in the day, I'd be mailing you a letter <laughs> explaining what I did because we didn't have all of this, but not when I was younger anyway. So anywho, yeah, I didn't have any of this till I think I turned 60. Not even a, like, I mean, we had a computer for the business, but uh, I didn't play on it like this. Um, this was all new to me. I had to learn. And I'm going to use my clear LDRS powder. I grabbed some of the inks to put different colors. I just dot, 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 dot in different places of my um, oxide inks with the same colors as the front. See all the score marks? I did two going around the edges and then one on the top and one on the bottom that didn't touch the edge. Those are the little details that I just love. If you add that to your card, it's going to be scrumptious and the reciprocant's going to notice those little things. They are noticeable. Look at, isn't that sweet? And it says buzzing by to say hi. He is so cute. There's so many things you could do with this just on the inside. And all of this is from one little set. Yeah, get up there in your chair, Carol. I'm going to use my dots again. Yeah, because that didn't go all the way over. I should have moved it up a bit so it touched those um, edges, you know, and uh, the score marks. Whew, I thought of that. I always say score and emboss. I get them all messed up. I only want three. Don't overdo it, Carol. And I like it, so I'm going to remove it and put a little bit of glue underneath right there, just like that. And then I know the person that's getting this card, they're going to get the dots on it instead of in the envelope, like I said in my last tutorial. Yes. Well, we're coming down to the wire. I really do hope you're able to grab some inspiration. And you're going to love this little set because some little girls or little boys, they have uh, kitties. Not everybody has a dog, you know, a 125 pound bull mastiff like, you know, like we have. Um, yeah, I'm not a kitten person or a cat person. I am a dog, a big 
dog person. Yeah, get up there. Sorry about my head there. I got to use my stamp, handmade by Carol Held. And I'm going to put that beautiful LDRS clear embossing powder over top because I caught it right. You know, these uh, ones that you buy at your stationery store, you know, it's that honking thing. You just push down and all of a sudden you have that sentiment on there. Um, I thought I'd use it this time. I decided out of mind. Uh, I bought it to use it to put on the back of my projects. And it was, I looked right over to the left and there it was. I thought I'm going to put that on the back of this card. The bow is separate. I glued that on separately at the bottom. And now I'm just, I must be just cleaning up because I know I'm almost finished. I need to add some little dots to the back of my envelope. And this has to go in my envelope right here. And first, I buy the Burt's Bees Wax, okay? Burt's Bees Wax is identical to the Ranger product here. I'm not going to cover the front portion here with because I don't have any bumps or anything I need to put the packaging tape over so I know what this is going to lay flat but I need to protect it and I will seal it once I do my brush lettering I just didn't um, have permission I didn't ask about putting the address on there I didn't feel it necessary but I will address it later and I switched to both of them now the distress glaze is one fluid ounce and if you go to your cosmetic store anywhere where they sell uh, you know your drugstore cosmetics things of that nature bandages all that you're going to find the Burt's Bees it's almond and milk hand cream will work fabulous if your skin gets cracked almost immediate this stuff is amazing my mom got me hooked on this and you get double the amount uh, for less price with the Burt's Bees hand cream and it's almond and milk and it is identical you're going to it's going to be less expensive and you're going to get the same um, end result with the Burt's Bees almond and milk hand cream you're going to get the same and you're going to get double the amount so my friends I just wanted to share that because we all want to save money and I love my distress glaze I have both of them I, will, I would use both of them. Now I'm not saying to not get the Distress Glaze because you know I have it and I love it. But I remember my mom used Burt's Bees and that's why she had such beautiful skin, soft skin. And um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And uh, I went to the store and I bought it. And sure enough, the Burt's Bees, and I've watched tutorials where a few other tutorials since using this that have either saw my video, here you go, doesn't that look beautiful? It's so pretty. I love this card, I love color. But anyway, I just want to give you a comparison and save you a little bit if you can. And my kitties are going to see you soon. Oh yeah, they had a meow of a time today, and I hope you did too. And uh, let's see, we're going to put these on. And when I put my packaging tape, I only put it on the flap, not on the other portion. I don't seal it shut, you know, so the recipient has to fight with it to, <laughs> to get it open just on the flap here. And then the front of my card is going to look like a flap. It's like totally mind-boggling, isn't it? Yeah, they, they are. I hope I don't frustrate the postal service when I do this, but that's what I... I just like something different. Look at the googly eyes and the eyelashes. So cute. And my beautiful sky with the blooms. And it says, um, it says, especially, no, created especially for you by Carol Held. That was my stamp. There's the products we use. Just these three products and a little bit more embellishments. And it was fantastical. I loved spending time with you. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that and for your comments and liking my tutorials. Have yourself a blessed week, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Take care, everybody.